who is my talk in days and times like these. It's a blessing to be in the name of Jesus. I honor my lovely wife, my loving mother, amen, and all of the saints here. We honor our guests who have come to fellowship with us, and we appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedules to come and fellowship with us here at BAM. Amen. And we want to let you know that you are truly welcome. Amen. 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 We thank God for you in a mighty special way. Amen. I hope that I'm in the midst of some happy people. Because I myself, I'm a happy brother. Amen. Amen. It's another day's journey, and I'm glad about it. Amen. To God be the glory. Amen. We're not going to prolong the time. We're going to the Word of God. It is the New Testament book, the Gospel of John, chapter 1. John, chapter number 1. Amen. Again, we know that our family is listening and that we do send our condolences out, amen, to the family of which I am a part, amen, uh, Mother Mary Lane, and amen, Jack and Michelle and the rest of the family, amen, and, you know, and of course, me and JC being a part of this amen. church now, amen. amen, amen, we also Amen. I'm grieving. Amen. But yeah. uh, we're happy to know that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Yeah. So we weep while we re rejoice. And <laughs> we rejoice while we weep. Amen. And we thank God. That, amen. We do want to send our love out to our family. Amen. We're in the Gospel of John, chapter number one. We want to look at verses 19 through 23. John chapter 1. Verses 19 through 23. If you got to say amen. amen. Now let us all read it together and it reads. And this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, Who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. And they asked him, What then? Art thou Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, No. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? They, that we may give an answer to them that sent us. What sayest thou of thyself? He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. Amen. I thank God for the reading of his holy word. If you would, I would like for you to turn to the person next to you. As a name. Yeah. Oh, name. It's all right. It's all right. Every once in a while. Every once in a while. To act alone. To act alone. Neighbor. Neighbor. Oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I know people. I know people. Love crowds. Love crowds. And people are. And people are. Quite wonderful. Quite wonderful. But every now and then. But every now and then. It's all right. It's all right. To be all one. All alone. All alone. I would like to use for a talk or subject on this morning the voice of one. The voice of one. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, my Heavenly Father, in the mighty and holy name of Jesus, dear Lord, I come before you, Lord, as humble as I know how, desire for you to come on in the midst. I pray, Lord, to speak to your servant on today. Please forgive me for all of my sins and shortcomings. Please send forth your anointing to destroy every yoke that will oppose your word or your sermon on today. And let your word go forth free under the anointing of the Holy Ghost and with power. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Make a seat. Thank you so much.
One more time, turn to your neighbor's neighbor. Old neighbor. Old neighbor. Old neighbor. I know you may be enamored by the crowd, by the crowd. but today we're here to talk about the voice of one. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise. There is an old expression that says two's company, but three's a crowd. Am I right about that? Which simply means that two people in an intimate or informal setting, a man together, is comfortable and convenient. While a third person or party, a man added to that mix, can be uncomfortable and unwanted company. Am I right about it? And in a case like this, or in a case where there may be evenly matched couples involved, and a single person shows up, a man on the scene, unsolicited and unwanted, that person can even be called in some instances a fifth wheel. Am I right about it? Uh -huh, but believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, even though it is a good thing to come together in fellowship and be social, a man pertaining to social gatherings, a man that there are times and situations where people are involved <laughs> that there is addition by subtraction. Am I right about that? In other words, there are times when the less people you have involved, the less trouble, the less friction, the less headache, and in some cases, the less heartache you have. Am I right about that? You see, because Everybody, no matter how wonderful people may be, does not think the same way, does not think the same thoughts, have the same motives and motivation, does not have the same intentions or perceptions, and sometimes does not have the same drive and ambition. Am I right about that? So again, the less people involved, a man and engaged, uh -huh. The less trouble and the less potential you have for drama down the line. Ain't God a good God? And every once in a while, there may even be times uh, when you are even better off left all one, left alone. Am I right about it? Addition by subtraction down to one. Me, myself, and I ain't God a good God. Ladies and gentlemen, which is reminiscent and somewhat characteristic of the person who is the focus of our text today, uh -huh, none other than, amen, the priest and prophet of renown, John the Baptist. Ain't God a good God. Ladies and gentlemen, John the Baptist was a prophet, amen, from a priestly family. Zechariah, his father, was the priest from the division of Abijah. And Elizabeth was his, was a descendant, his mother Elizabeth was a descendant of Aaron, Moses' brother, who was the first high priest. And she was also a relative of Mary, the mother of Jesus. And God and God. Uh -huh. The angel Gabriel, a man announced John's birth while Zechariah was burning incense in the temple. Uh -huh. and he would now be filled with the Holy Ghost while he was in his mother's womb. Uh -huh. And when he came forth, he would not drink wine nor strong drink. Uh -huh. And as a prophet, amen, he would possess the spirit and power of, amen, uh, Elijah. Amen. And his role would be to prepare the lost people for the coming of the Messiah and being his forerunner. Somebody shout glory. Uh -huh. Mark 1, ladies and gentlemen, recalls that John the Baptist, and we'll call him JTB, John the Baptist was in the wilderness until the time of his public ministry. Most likely, all one, 
all alone. Thank God, thank God. Uh-huh, there, ladies and gentlemen, he ate locusts and wild honey. And he wore, amen, a prophet's dress made of a camel's hair and had a leather girdle. Amen. And in this text today, ladies and gentlemen, we are in the Gospel of John. Amen. Hallelujah. Which is the 44th book of our chronological Holy Bible and the fourth book of the New Testament. It is written and or authored by the disciple and apostle John, the son of Zebedee, also known as the beloved disciple. Are you glad about it? John's gospel, amen, is the fourth gospel account, amen, of the New Testament. Uh-huh, and it is distinct from the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark, and John and Luke. Amen. And in chapter 1, beginning at verse 19, we find these words. Uh -huh. It says, and this is the record of John. When the Jews sent priests and Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? Uh -huh. They sent to him, amen, uh, uh, they that were sent to him were the Jews at Jerusalem. Uh -huh. The great Sanhedrin, amen, or the high commission court, which was representative of the Jewish church, and God of God, amen, who presided over all matters related to religion. Uh -huh. Ladies and gentlemen, John the Baptist's reputation and notoriety preceded him. For he was preaching, amen, with an emphasis on uh, the coming judgment, the need for repentance, amen, and the coming of the long-awaited Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout hallelujah. So these jealous Pharisees, if you will, are uh, sent to inquire of him, amen, no one to satisfy their curiosity, they were nosy. Ain't God a good God? Uh-huh. For they had such a proud conceit of themselves. Uh-huh. That uh, the doctrine of repentance was to them a strange doctrine that was beneath their dignity. Uh-huh. Number two, to show their authority. Uh-huh. They thought they looked large when they called him to account. Uh huh. Whom all men counted as a prophet, amen, as though he needed to answer to them. Ain't God a good God? And number three, it was an attempt, uh huh, to suppress him. Uh huh. You know, when uh, whenever you stand for the Lord, somebody wants to shut you down. It was an attempt to suppress him and to silence his voice. Uh huh. They, uh huh, if they could, because. They were jealous of his growing interest, and his ministry did not agree with the outdated mosaic dispensation, uh -huh, which they had long been under, nor the notion that they had for the Messiah's kingdom. Ain't God a good God? And then in verse 20, the Bible says, He confessed and denied not. He but confessed, Amen. I am not the Christ. Ain't God a good God? Uh -huh. So, even though that is in, uh, the highest distinction you can have, uh -huh. John the Baptist said, uh, as much as I would love to be him, I am not him. Ain't God a good God. But it's much more to be like him. Ain't God a good God. I don't know about you, but to be like Jesus, oh, how I long to be like him. I want to hold this meek and lonely, oh, how I long to be like him. Ain't God a good God. And verse 21, they asked him, What then art thou Elias? Talking about Elijah. And he said, I am not. Then they said, Art thou that prophet? Talking about the one that Moses said will come forth as him. Amen. Like him. And he answered, No. Thank God, good God. Amen. Uh, in order to know who you are, Amen, you first need to know who you are not. Because if you don't know who you are not, you may not know who you are. Am I right about it? He said no. The Jews expected the person of Elijah to return from heaven. Amen. And to live among them. Amen. And for great things to happen with them as a result of him being with them. Uh-huh. And when they heard of JTBs, 
John the Baptist's character, his doctrine and baptism, amen, amen, and observe that he appeared as one drop from heaven, amen, that he came out of nowhere, am I right about it? Uh -huh. In the same part of the country from which Elijah was carried to heaven. Uh -huh. It is no wonder that they, amen, hallelujah, were ready to take him, amen, for to be Elijah. Uh -huh. But he disowned this honor too. It would be good to be compared to Elijah, but I am not he. Ain't God a good God? Amen. To God be the glory. He was indeed prophesied. Uh huh. Under the name of Elijah in Malachi four. Uh huh. And he came in the spirit and power of Elijah, according to Luke one seventeen, and was that Elijah that was to come, according to Matthew eleven. Ain't God a good God? Uh huh. But he was not the person of Elijah himself. Amen. Not uh, uh, he was not that Elijah. Amen. That was taken to heaven on chariots of fire. Amen. And that met with Jesus on the Mount of Transfiguration. He answered them, No, I am not him. Ain't God a good God? Amen. I'm so glad, amen, that uh, in order to know who you are, amen, it's good to discount who you are not. Let people know, amen, I might be compared to so and so and so, but I am not him. I may be compared to her, but I am not her. I am my own person. I am my own man. I am who God called and made me to be. It's good to claim who you are. Amen. You don't need to be like nobody else. You don't need to be an imitation of anybody else. Hey, God, be God. Yeah. Then verse 22. Then said they unto him, Who art thou? That we may give answer to them that sent us. Amen. What says thou of thyself? You know, some people would gloat when they say, What says thou of thyself? Some people like to brag on themselves. Am I right about it? Some people are quick to let you know, Amen. I rub shows with the esteemed. Am I right about it? I live in this neighborhood. Am I right about it? Amen. I hold this title of position. And I want everybody to know. Amen. I, I drive this type of vehicle. Amen. And, and I want to look down my nose at other people. Am I right about it? Amen. I got this kind of cash flow coming in. Amen. And not much going out. Ain't God with God. Amen. People will take advantage. Amen. Of the, the, uh, uh, the opportunity to boast on themselves. But I don't know about you, but I'd rather boast in the Lord. Amen. Who gave me everything I got. And is response for me being the person who I am. Isn't that right? Ladies and gentlemen, this committee was sent. Amen. To examine. Amen. Him. Amen. And they pressed for a positive answer. Amen. And But they didn't have to worry about anything because uh, 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 John the Baptist was going to answer them honestly. Ain't God a good God. What sayest thou of thyself? In verse 23, he said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. He said, make straight the way of the Lord, as said the prophet Isaiah. He said, I am the voice of one. Isn't that all right? I, I want you to let that sink in for a minute. And I want you to assume Amen. That is you that is being talked about today. Who are you? I am the voice of one. Because many times, people are the voice of two or three. The voice of many. many. The voice of everybody else. Instead of the voice of one. Sometimes we assume what other people think. As our own opinion. Am I right about it? What the majority say rules. And we become the voice of the majority instead of the voice of one. Am I right about it? Uh huh. We assume the voice of popular opinion and the fans of the day instead of the voice of one. Am I right about it? Amen. We, we become so, amen, uh, consumed with what everybody else thinks. Because we don't want to feel like we are different 
when in retrospect we're supposed to be different. Am I right about it? Amen. We're so busy trying to agree with everybody because we don't want to be singled out for being uh, 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 for being peculiar. When the Bible says that ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood and a holy nation, and a peculiar people, that you must show forth the praise of him who called you out of darkness into the marvelous light, the voice of one. Thank God to be God. Ladies and gentlemen, he gives an answer that is according to the scripture, Isaiah 43. It is fulfilled in him. And it's fulfilled, amen, in him saying that I am the voice of one as it has been prophesied. Thank God, good God. I don't know about you, but I'd rather, I'd rather for my identity to be in line with scripture than in line with the unmoral majority. You hear what I'm saying? Uh, I know this is alarming preaching. And nobody wants to hear that you need to be different. Am I right about it? But there's too much copycat going on in this life among the saints. Too much of the saints copycat the world and not enough of the world copycat the saints. So that we have become the voice of the world instead of the voice of one. I'm going to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, he gives in his answer a very humble and modest, self denying expression. He chooses to apply the scripture to himself, than to apply other people's opinion to himself. Am I right about it? Amen. And he, it, this denotes, amen, not his dignity, but his duty, as well as his dependence on the Lord. Amen. And uh, he gives an account for himself that might be profitable to anyone who would listen. Anybody who would be awakened out of their slumber or out of their sleep. Amen. For he was the voice. Uh, a God, a good God. A voice to alarm. Amen. And a voice to instruct. Amen. The voice by which God was pleased to communicate his mind. In other words, isn't it good when the Lord decides, I want you or I want you to be the voice of my mind? All right about it? God wants us to know what's on his mind. And so he will use people like you and I, people like JTB, John the Baptist, am I right about it? To let people know what's on his mind. Amen. That we might be the voice of one. Thank God we God. So John the Baptist was God's spokesman. The voice of one who prepared the way for Jesus the Messiah to the people. To be, uh, to be presented to the people. Amen. To be introduced and presented to them as the Lamb of God which takes away the sins of the world. Am I right about it? The voice, yeah. Uh-huh. Of one. Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. He said, but when he got ready to leave the world, he said to his disciples, you are now the light of the world. A city which is set on a hill cannot be hid. Am I right about it? He said, that let your light so shine before me that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. He said that you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor or saltiness, wherewith shall it be salted? He said, it is therefore good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under the foot of me. Am I right about it? In other words, ladies and gentlemen, God is looking for they made some leaders in this world. He said, the works that I do, shall you do. And greater work than these shall you do because I go to my father. Ladies and gentlemen, the voice of one was and is a leader. 
and not a father. Let me say that again. The boss of one was and is a leader and not a follower. I fear that there are too many saints following today and not enough leading. I'm about to close this thing, but I'm reminded of the prophet Isaiah in the year that King Uzziah died. He said, I saw also the Lord and that he uh -huh. was sitting upon the throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple. Is that right? Uh -huh. Isaiah saw the glory of the Lord. Then he said, woe is me for I am undone because I am a man of unclean lips and I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips. Is that right? He said, for my eyes have seen the king, the Lord host. Is that all right? Uh -huh. Then a man, the angel, a man, hallelujah, the servant, brother, a man took a live coal off the altar and took his unclean lips. Is that right? He said, hallelujah, this has now touched your lips. Uh -huh. And you have now been purged from your sins. Is that all right? Ain't God a good God? Uh huh. And the voice of the Lord said, Uh huh. Whom shall I sing? Uh huh. Or who will go for us? Is that all right? Then Isaiah said, Hear my Lord, send me. Uh huh. I'll go. Is that all right? Ladies and gentlemen, he was the voice of one. And when you are the boss of one, you are a leader. Amen. Hallelujah. And not a follower. You decide that I'm going on with Jesus. I'm going all the way with the Lord. Is that all right? Glory. Hallelujah. I'm about to go to my seat. Uh -huh. But before I do, I'm reminded of something that Pastor Kevin Willis said. In a message some time ago. Is that all right? Amen. I believe to be reminiscent. Amen. Of the essence of the voice of one. Is that all right? Glory. Holy tiny seatbelts now. He said, God ain't interested. Amen. Hallelujah. So much interested in followers unless they're following Christ. Is that all right? But he's interested more huh, in leaders. Is that all right? Huh? He said, I told huh, my dog, huh, uh -huh, when you make huh, a decision, huh, a man, hallelujah, huh, to be who God wants you to be, huh, instead of who everybody else huh, already is. Is that all right? Huh? Uh -huh, it called his folk, huh, a man to treat your brother. Am I right about it? Huh? He said, hallelujah. Huh, I keep telling my dog, huh, you can't write huh, everything on your body. Huh, because if you do, huh, it means you're a father. Huh, is that all right? Huh, but you need huh, to be the leader enough huh, to say, huh, you can write on your body. Huh, but ain't no ink huh, going to be on my body. Huh, because I'm a leader. Is that all right? Huh, he said, that's why. Ha, I told my son, ha, uh -huh, your pants ha, can't be down around ha, your kneecaps ha, because that means ha, that you're not a leader. Ha, you're a follower. Is that all right? Ha, talk about the boss of one. Ha, he said, hey, ha, you're going to be a leader. Ha, keep your pants ha, around your waist. Ha, uh, is that all right? Ha, keep your pants up ha, and keep your belt on. Ha, is that all right? Ha, he said, we don't need ha, to see the cup ha, of your underwear ha, to know ha, you're a man. Is that all right? Ha, you need to be ha, 
a leader and not a follower. I'm trying to tell somebody about the voice of one. If you right, you don't have to be like everybody else. But let everybody else be like you. If you right, ladies and gentlemen, as I take this thing on up, I'm about to go to my seat. But I want to let somebody in band know today that it's not about your bank account, uh, but it's about uh, your think account. Uh, is that all right? Because as a man uh, thinking in his heart, uh, so is he. Uh, is that all right? Uh, if you're the boss uh, of one, uh, you think high uh, of the God uh, who made you uh, and what he wants uh, you to be. Uh, is that all right? Uh, the ladies and gentlemen, son of the back uh, confess uh, who and what uh, he was not. Then he confessed uh, who and what uh, he was. Uh, and then I rock uh, the voice of one, uh, not the voice of everybody, uh, not the voice of men, uh, not the voice uh, of two or three, uh, not the voice uh, of popular pity. Uh, but he said, uh, I am uh, the voice uh, of one, uh, the one uh, that God made me to be, uh, crying uh, in the wilderness. Uh, and then I rock. Uh, so go ahead on. Uh, and talk about me all you want to. Is that all right? But I'm secure and who I am because God made me the boss, not me, but the boss of the world. Ain't God the God? So why be a cheap imitation when you can be a great designer's original? Ain't God the God? I don't know about you, but God made me an original. And then make uh, no copies. Uh, ain't God the God? Uh, so I rebel uh, and I'm the light uh, and he uh, the Lord uh, of one. Uh, they tell me uh, sometimes uh, that Trump, uh, you don't think uh, like everybody else. Uh, they tell me uh, Trump, uh, you don't do uh, what other people do. Uh, well, no, uh, it's simply because uh, I come one day uh, to realize uh, that I'm not. Uh, the boss uh, of anybody uh, but me, uh, the boss of a woman, ain't God the God. Uh, and the ladies and gentlemen, uh, people say, uh, I'm going to my seat, uh, but people say, uh, you're crazy uh, when you talk to yourself. Uh, I'm all right about it. Uh, but sometimes, uh, if you don't, uh, you might go crazy uh, if you don't talk to yourself. Uh, I'm all right about it. Uh, sometimes, uh, being the boss of one, sometimes you're all by yourself, and you have to speak to yourself. You have to speak over yourself, by reconcile within yourself. And God did know that I am a design of the original, and I'm not a cheap copy or a cheap imitation. I am who God made me to be, and God did know so ladies and gentlemen, when you are out here in this life, don't mind being the boss of one, of the person that God called you to be. Cry out and spell out. I'll turn it back and say, I'm the boss of one crying in the wilderness. And God told you to see you. I'll cry out and spell out. Lift up the boys huh, like a trumpet. Huh. Somebody in bed huh, ought to be the boys huh, of one. Huh. Better tell people, huh, I found all that I need, huh, and I found it huh, in the Lord. Huh. And there are huh, everything huh, that I need, huh, God got it. Huh. Everything I want, huh, God got it. Huh. Everything huh, I hope to be, huh, God got it. Huh. I don't have to look huh, outside God. Huh. To get anything or to be anything. I found all that I need. And I found it in the Lord. And then I ride. So go ahead and call me. The other thing, but a time ago, go ahead and laugh at me. Talk about me. Scandalize my name. But I wish some people in band would join me and say, it does not matter but what you call me. I know uh, what God uh, made me, uh, the boss, uh, the boss, uh, the boss uh, of one uh, and not many. Uh, ain't God a good God? Uh, do 
do I have? Anybody with a lot of problems can say, I am. Can you say, I am? You may not be, but I am. They may not be, but I am. Everybody else might not be. I am. I am. The voice of one. If you know, then we we'll preach again. Just know my heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I've got to be. I'm gonna be. Can't nobody stop me from being red. From being red. From being red. When Jesus comes. I thank God for making me the voice of one. being equal and being 